it's time for us to take a look at Not Dice Squared, an expansion for the Celtic Knotwork dice game, Not Dice. Thank you, Black Oak Games, for providing us with a review copy of this expansion. Right, Not Dice Squared, along with the original game, Not Dice, was designed and published by Matthew O'Malley under his company independently published as Black Oak Games. Uh, these dice were originally kickstarted in 2018 and hit retail earlier this year in 2020. This expansion does require a set of Not Dice to play. By combining the set with the original di dice, you get a number of games and puzzles that will play from one to six players. To get a look at the new dice included in this deck, be sure to check out our Not Dice Squared unboxing video on YouTube. Uh, you may also want to check out our review of Not Dice if you're not familiar with these costume dice sets by Black Oak Games yet. You can catch that review as part of episode 116, Non-Game Gifts for Gamers, or YouTube, on YouTube or the blog. All right, so the dice here are just as nice as the ones in Not Dice. The quality is the same. Um, for those who haven't seen the original, these are larger than your standard die. They are measured 20 millimeters square. Not work patterns on these dice are deeply etched into the dice and inked with silver. The dice are colored to look like Connemara marble. You get three types of dice in Not Dice squared. You get round and square pattern dice, nine of each, and then eight bridge dice. Now the round and square pattern dice are fully compatible with each other and they match all six sides match with any other six side of those two sets, but they're not compatible with the original cross pattern dice that were in the knot dice. That's where the eight bridge dice come in that allow you to connect the two new patterns to the original pattern. So that's 18 new unique knot dice, same as the original box, as well as eight dice that connect the two sets. Yep. Now, just like Not Dice, uh, you're also getting two rather thick books, one with new puzzles and another with new games that you can now play with your larger collection of Not Dice. In addition, you do have two more sets of tokens in new colors, so now you can play with up to six players, games that need tokens. Now, how has Not Dice Squared expanded on Not Dice? All right, so we'll start with the puzzle book. The puzzle book this time has six different types of puzzles. Five of which are the same as the puzzles in Not Dice, just using Not Dice, uh, using the new dice. One is totally new. Now, the puzzles that carry it over are the creation puzzles, the completion puzzles, the transformation puzzles, and the building puzzles. Again, check out our other review for more details on what those are. Now, the new puzzle type I want to highlight is the simultaneous puzzle. These can be played by multiple players simultaneously as a race to complete set patterns. Everyone gets their own set of dice from the four dice types and tries to complete a series of patterns shown in the book before the other players finish a different set. Now, and can you get six players doing the simultaneous puzzles or is that too many for the number of dice? With one set of not dice and one set of not dice squared, you can get up to four people playing simultaneously. There are sets of puzzles for one player, two player, three player, and four. Now, the game book has new games. There are 10 different games included. Now, eight of these are just updated versions of games that were in the original Not Dice, and two are completely new. Now, for the overlapping games, every single one of these are games where you were going to draft dice, roll them, and add them to a pattern in some way. Now, what the change is with Not Dice Squared is that you separate the dice into four piles based on the dice type, the original uh, cross pattern, the square pattern, the round pattern, and the bridge dice. When drafting, you're just going to pick which pile to choose from. Other than that, the games are identical. They play exactly the same as not dice, just you're choosing from a pile instead of one central pool. So what I want to highlight here are the two new games. The first is Forget-Me-Nots with the number four. This is a solo game where you're trying to build eight different completed patterns of dice simultaneously. You start with four dice drafted from the four different types. You roll them, and then each turn, you have to add at least one of these dice to one of the eight patterns. And once you've added at least one die, you can roll the dice you're left. And then you have to place at least one die. And you keep doing that until you place all four dice. Then you're going to draft four more dice and keep doing that. You're going to keep going until either you run out of dice and you lose, or you complete eight patterns. The second new game is Hedgerows. This is a two-player only 3D pattern building game where you're going to be stacking the dice. One player takes the 18 original not dice and the other player takes the 18 non-bridge dice from not dice squared. Players are working to build one large green hedge with not work patterns on the sides. 
Players are going to grab three of their dice and roll them. Two dice have to be placed every turn. Now, after the first die is placed, all subsequent dice must be placed either touching an opponent's die or the space next to an opponent's die where an opponent's die would be. So what this represents is the hedge slowly growing outward from a central set of dice. After all dice are played, if you play through multiple rounds, players are going to get points based on what completed patterns they have on their side, getting one point per die that's in a completed pattern. So despite the nice chunky books, most of it is really just adding in the new dice to the original games and not all new games, which I think is fair, mm -hmm. but important to know that you're not getting as much new game with this set of dice. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're getting new ways to play the old games in most cases with a couple new games and one new puzzle type. And to be honest, the one new puzzle type is basically an old puzzle type that multiple people can play at once. What has been removed is any of the ones where you're sliding dice into the edge or side of a pattern, which makes sense because these new dice don't match with the old dice. So when you slide dice in, you're not going to get completed patterns. So it kind of kind of makes sense the ones they omitted. All right, as I noted with my Not Dice review, I still think that Not Dice and its expansion are worth the cost just for a cool set of dice. Like, these are great-looking dice. These are a conversation piece. These are the kind of thing you could leave out as a centerpiece or on a coffee table or a desktop toy as, as an art object or a knickknack, right? Something to fiddle with. In that regard, interestingly, despite what it says on all the boxes, you don't actually need a set of knot dice to use knot dice squared because these dice all work perfectly well with each other, including the bridges. And you can use these to make all kinds of cool stacking patterns. It's only once you get into the actual games and puzzles in the books that you actually need a set of knot dice. And even then, there's actually a couple... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Most dying for a sec. Do, 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 do. This is what happens. <clears throat> You're still muted. I can't, I can't see the blinky button. All right, let's try that again. Even then, there are some games and puzzles you can play with just the dice in the box. But overall, I think most people who pick up a set of this are going to want the original dice. But it is nice to know that if someone was given this expansion as a gift, for instance, it wouldn't be completely useless without the original, just significantly underused. Fair. So most of the games in the puzzle of this set are, as Sean mentioned, just updated versions of the originals with some minor changes. But what we did find is just adding in that new set of dice, all of those original puzzles and games become significantly harder. Uh, these dice just don't fit together the way you expect them to, especially with the bridge dice. And it takes you quite a while, I find, to get used to what types of patterns work with each other and when the bridge dice are needed and where they work. And even just recognizing what's a cross edge versus a straight edge. The puzzles in particular really ramp up in difficulty once you have all four types of dice. So some of the patterns are build a cube that's two by two by two, right? Uh, that uses all four dice types and has one complete pattern on it. And that's it. Like that's your whole direction. We couldn't do it. Like we tried for a while. We never did figure this one out. We'll, eventually, I'm sure we will. But just adding in the variation of the four different types of dice really ramps up the difficulty of those puzzles. Whereas the puzzles in the original game, we actually found like almost deceptively easy. It was like, yeah, yeah, okay, obviously these go together this way. I also really dig the fact that there's now a puzzle for up to four players playing simultaneously. Though I gotta say, whoever is has done that research, played with the dice most, who knows which sides fit together just at a glance, is gonna win. So it's going to have, uh, like, whoever owns the dice is probably going to win that game. You have a big advantage by uh, whoever's most comfortable with them, I think. As for the two new boat games, I think they're both interesting. Um, I like the hedge theme. I like it. I, I like the fact you can only place where someone else plays, and it kind of has to grow organically. I thought that was a neat thing to tie to it. Um, and I also do like the fact that now... I no longer feel the need to buy a second set of not dice where reading through not dice. It was like, yeah, you can play this two player, but if you want to play four, you need two sets. And if you want to play six, you need three. I'm glad that this replaces that, that now I can play up to six players with my set. So that, that made me pretty happy. Overall, I am amazed just 
the, the the design work that went into these dice, the 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 creative mind of of Matthew O'Malley who designed these, and how he got it to work, like the thought process and math involved in getting these four different types of dice to work together, boggles my mind, and I am really impressed by this. The dice, of course, look amazing. The puzzles are engaging and fun. This does what I want from every expansion published by anyone. It adds to and improves the existing game without changing it into something new. If you own a set of not dice and enjoy playing with them, just consider picking up a copy of Nice Dice Squared. Not Dice Squared. I said Nice Dice. Nice Dice are probably something else. But yeah, if you own not dice, pick up not dice squared, this expansion set. It's going to give you more of what you already like. More dice, more games, more puzzles. You could also pick this up as a standalone set. Again, something that makes a cool display piece or a fiddle toy. In general, though, this is designed to expand on night dice. And you can only play most of the games with the original set. So I do think if anyone's like seen my recent posts on Instagram or whatever, oh, those look so cool. I would still recommend start with not dice. And then if you dig not dice, consider picking this up. All right. Well, you can also check out our written review of not dice by heading over to tabletopbellhop.com and clicking on reviews.